Hello, and welcome to Wednesday, the day of wins. Uh, yesterday, I was extremely uh, sleep deprived, and I think I caught up. I managed to not sleep throughout the day, which is impressive for me, uh, considering that it's been something of a habit past a little bit. But hey, uh, I fell asleep maybe like twice, got most an hour. <laughs> I think I was up for like a, almost a full 24 hours, but had a good night rest, and we're here now. And that kind of leads me into one thing that I want to talk about today, and that would be ROM hacks. Now, a couple of days ago, I talked about a uh, about emulation, and more specifically about my um, analog pocket right here. Now, the thing is, uh, while you can use this to play, you know. Like there's a bunch of cores available online, and you can use it to play whatever kind of poke, like uh, whatever kind of um, game you want to play. There's a whole different world out there, full of ROM hacks. Now, a ROM hack is basically somebody or a team of hackers take a game that's already there. In my case, um, like, well, in this case. Uh, one that I'm going to talk about is uh, Pokemon Light Platinum. If I start this up and just let it uh, let it go for a little bit, there you go. Uh, let the loading bar go. Um, Pokemon Light Platinum is a hack of Pokemon Ruby, I believe, and uh, this came out back in like 2009 or something, something like ridiculously long. I remember being a kid and my cousin telling me a lot about this. So you see, it starts off kind of like Pokemon Ruby normally but uh let's give it a couple of seconds i could probably eh, i'll leave the audio off it's gonna be a pain to deal with um and there we go look at that we have pokemon that are not from pokemon ruby so this is a hack of uh pokemon ruby uh they basically added a lot of gen 4 and gen 5 pokemon and just transformed the game really cool really interesting and I spent um, a couple of hours just now uh, trying to get Pokemon light platinum which is a hack for Pokemon fire red uh, to work on this it turns out there's some um, some issues that uh, may or may not be addressed ever we'll see but uh, seeing this is just so cool to me like you could only really get this with the flash cart and uh, being able to like see something like this uh pokemon ultraviolet is the one i couldn't get working it works fine in an emulator i used my i ripped the rom straight from a cartridge that is right over there um so this is all legal at least by my definition of legal um i own the roms i own the games i'm just adding a file that somebody else made which is completely fine in my book uh but that's so cool that i'm able to load up rom hacks on this thing and uh, thanks to websites like romhacking.net, there's literally thousands, so many, so many um, ROM hacks that are just either quality of life things or like complete overhauls. Like this is a complete overhaul. It just basically uses some of the game's base code and just edits it. Um, in other cases, you have like some things that are like minor color fixes. Um, I went through and uh, actually um, looked at like the entire wonder swan um list of rom hacks and there's not many um if i go to like i just have a folder full of uh full of rom hacks there's maybe like like less than a dozen rom hacks here and i'm not so sure like i just uh like it's wonder swan so nobody cares like i don't own a wonder swan nobody owns a wonder swan and nobody's gonna do anything about it but if, like, there are just so many weird and wonderful ROM hacks that are just, like, the Digimon Rhythm Collection, like, I don't even know <laughs> if this will ever happen, ever, like, I, I doubt that they're, that's weird, that's weird. Right, because the Wonder Swan you were able to hold, like, vertically or horizontally, so it's just, like... So it's like you hold it like somewhat at an angle that, oh my gosh, this is what I'm talking about. Like I, 
the Wonder Swan was just such a unique, unique, unique device, and this isn't full Japanese, but uh, I believe it's an audio rhythm game, so uh, can't really do much here, at least <laughs> uh, the way I'm doing this right now. But yeah, it's super cool that it's just like uh, fan-made hacks that you can just append to any game that's at least there, or make your own, and I can just load them up on here and take them wherever I go. It's really fun stuff. There's actually some hacks for uh, Final Fantasy uh, Dawn of Souls on there. Um, maybe one day I'll get to doing that. Um, they edit the MP system so that you can, uh, so it's like traditional Final Fantasy one as opposed to Dawn of Souls, which gives you uh, magic points as opposed to like limited uses of a spell. I don't know what's going on here, but this is wild. Oh, and we got hit. I'm assuming it's like a weird rhythm game or something, and <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. But this is so dope. Like, I forgot that you could play Wonder Swan vertically and uh, horizontally. It's such a unique console, and it's something we don't get to experience nowadays. Uh, maybe one day, but I highly doubt it. Regardless, that's what I'm going to call it for today. Uh, ROM hacks are cool. Go find one, go play one. Um, I might be playing Light Platinum, which is something I played as a kid for a little bit, and being able to play that on quote-unquote physical hardware seems super, super cool, and it's going to be fun to try out. Anyway, that's what I'm calling it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow, and until then, later. Later.